Let's see, Mike said he's not smoking today. He's got a head cold. So, and you no. didn't bring your shit because... No, I want, I want a night. I would love to have a good cigar. You sure? Because you're a loser. Oh, no, at this point I'm prepped. For, for me to be like, bring, All right, bring fuck it. If everybody else is going to do it, I'm, I'll succumb to peer pressure. Do you, you want to? Yeah, I'll try. I'll try. I want to start do saying bring, bring good cigars. Well, I, I, brought, <laughs> I brought me a good cigar and I brought you a not so good cigar. Yeah, the, the ones opinion. that you don't like. Right. Shocker. Which yeah. is fine. Do you, want, do you, Mike, can't be do you want a big, you want a good cigar? No, I'm good. <laughs> it's not that they're bad. I, oh, I, fuck I don't me. No, I just bad. broke this one. Are you shitting me? No. You get some scotch tape and take that <laughs> shit up. <laughs> it's like we're in high school again. <laughs> Dude, no, no, I'll, just, I'll a, just slide the band up. I there you my, go. <laughs> I mean, that works too. <laughs> I'd have my uncle get that for us, man. The, the cigars aren't bad. I just, I am not a fan of they're them. Not, they're not bad at all. No. But they're not, especially from Jura State, I expect more. Fuck it. Uh-oh. Mike's going to re-roll it. I was say we we freaking black and milds here. I almost Don't got a pack of black and milds <laughs> uh-huh. today. I was like, I could have a drive through on the way. I'll get some black and milds or some owl. Just <laughs> the what's the owl? Do you have cloves? I almost. <laughs> I I almost bought. I want to smell like a fifteen year old goth girl when I go. Oh, see, for us, the the first time I heard of clove cigarettes, we're walking. It was around pumpkin show time. I'm walking down the street with a bunch of friends, and I hear this crackling. I'm like, what the hell is that? And the one black kid with us in Circleville. This one isn't punched. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> yeah, it's a good was, one. Neither was this one. They're supposed to be pre-punched. Yeah, this one ain't punched either. I'm going to need that too. Donkey punched. There you go. Oops. But uh, so, our one black friend was smoking clove cigarettes. Of course he was. Well, usually it's Newport Mo- Newport's, Newport uh, Menthol. All Newport Menthol. I think so. So, welcome to the Buckhorn Podcast. I am Martel, and with me always is Malort, Mike, and Randy. What's up, guys? Hey, everybody. If you ever dared to stay off drugs, you're in the wrong place. Welcome to the Buckhorn Fuck Podcast. Fuck you, Nancy Reagan. <laughs> oh, Nancy. <laughs> Cocksucker. The war on drugs. Yes. <laughs> we're, we're losing the war on drugs. It's fine. It's totally fine. Now that I feel like that's too Nancy Reagan. Did we reference her last week, or was that just another conversation? That may have been another conversation yeah. you had. I think that was just in your dreams. Mike. No, no, I had to explain <laughs> to my wife why Nancy Reagan was relevant again a little while ago. She's relevant again? Uh, she Was she relevant the first time? Uh, yeah. I did, mean, I know she did, did the dare not, thing. We, what's that? We just passed weed. I know she did the dare thing. Well, she did the dare thing, but she was apparently also known we as... did pass weed. Yes. As a... a like Olympic gold medal champion cocksucker. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't realize it was an Olympic sport. Yeah. I was say, yeah. that, that's that's a, a sport I might be able to get a medal in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't know. I mean, uh, on, Ohio uh, did uh, just pass weed. Yeah. Ohio this could just be a way weed. more fun show now that I think about it. Yeah. I mean, it could be. I'm. I don't know what the ramifications are going to be at work, but you work from home. Doesn't Your matter. Ramifications are dealing with your wife. No, no, I was about to say yeah. that's what he's talking about. <laughs> I mean, that's that's the thing. Hey, so. we're at the point. My wife's like, "Hey, if it helps you sleep better and keeps you from drinking, <laughs> she's like, that's more natural and better for well, you than beer. It's liquor. not going to keep me from drinking. So, not speaking, keep, not keep me, but I used to drink a lot of hard liquor every night. Speaking of drinking, every last night. last week, yeah. So Sunday, we did we did our show. We did two shows. We drank some potting soil. We drank potting soil from Watershed, which was absolutely fucking disgusting. And then Ted turned around and told us, proclaimed in a in a video to me, because I asked Corey what they thought about. They they got the Watershed as well, but they got a different batch. They well they got the same batch. They got batch four. We got batch four. We thought it tastes like potting soil. Apparently, Ted is a big Watershed fan. I don't know why. Because Watershed is not well, good. I don't, we, I don't really know Ted yet. Oh, I don't either. But that tells me a lot about Ted. He's basically a thin <laughs> version of you on the show. He shows up late and interrupts everybody. I don't show up late. Mike said, shoot for four. Last yep, night, yep. I got here four. Yep. He did, but then he said he'd be home around 2.45, 3 o'clock. So I yeah, took today. that as... That's yeah. the day of. Yeah, yeah I, t- I took that as... You you don't do that. Like, airlines can't do that. Yeah, they can. No, they, no, they can't. They, they can't. 
They can. They They're, can they, actually. They, they, they did. They, do. they did on my flight from Italy to uh, boy. The king was we'll say as the fuck king. sounding. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> on my it, flight from Italy to JFK, they left like on 15, my private Learjet. Fifteen minutes early. Yeah. They're they like can, they can do whatever they want. If they feel that they have fine. To, trains in Japan don't do that. No, they run on time. They're on the minute. Yeah. <laughs> to the second. Yeah. They're on time. Yeah, so they will, they will kill. Yeah, I was about so, to say sorry about your arm, but we're yeah, leaving. We're leaving, Literally. and they have they have shovers. Yeah, they have yeah. pushers. They have people Which actually is push. Amazing! How do I get that job? I know. That's like I, working at Dick's Last man. Resort. Like, I just want to do that. Yeah, yeah. Would, I would just just one day a week, beat people. one day a month. Just oh, let I'd, me get I'd out my angst. I'd there. I'd full time there. <laughs> let me get my angst. If out. I could work there and make a li- you know yeah. solid living like I am now, I'd do it full time. Like hey, no weekends. Oh look, I want weekends off, but yeah. Somebody, yeah, I, I would. Totally somebody dress themselves today. <laughs> <laughs> so our but, experience at Dick's Last Resort was, which I don't think is a thing anymore. Yeah, it is. is. It? Yeah, oh, yeah. Still, there's, there's still the one some. in Myrtle Beach. There's one in. Uh, I know there's Gatlinburg. one in uh, Mall of America. Yeah, hmm. but uh, we went down oh. there. Okay, what is this? Myrtle Cold Beach. Dog. Okay, I want to keep them separate. Yeah, and, uh, the that's Great Lakes. The hats they put on you and stuff. The paper yeah, hats they make. You Great know, Lakes. Lakes. my buddy had. Okay. Twelve dogs, Great Lakes. My buddy had ordered a bottle of beer, like I don't know back then, Coors Light, Bud Light, Miller yeah. Light, some beer, just a beer bottle like that. Yeah. And he's sipping on it. We, I mean, it's like noon, mm-hmm. and we partied hard all night long because we were twenty one, twenty two. I think he was like twenty five at the time. But we're just like waking up and trying to like regain our souls. So oh shit! I did it! I did two! <laughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> I'm excited. Practice, now practice, we have practice. camera proof. And he uh, he's sipping on it. They brought out a baby bottle, like nipple top they had made <laughs> to put on his beer bottle. Just that's boop. fantastic. Wait, hot waiter just comes over. It's like, boop, and walks away. You know, so yeah. that's what Dix does. Yeah. Well, they put my buddy's hat on, and it was, it was us three at the end of the table. And it's a long picnic table kind of thing. And at the other end was this cup with this, like, really tiny baby, barely sitting up on its own. And they made it this tiny little hat that says, when I grow up, I'm going to be a whore just like mommy. <laughs> <laughs> And they put my buddy's hat on, and I forget what they said. And then all of a sudden, I'm laughing. I had no hat. I'm the last one table to get a hat. And all of a sudden, darkness. This whole paper thing comes down to like my waist. So they made it huge, which I wasn't. <laughs> they made that in the back. Yeah, yeah. They, they used a roll yes. of parchment paper, <laughs> and everybody like starts. I can hear people from other tables laughing, and I take it off and read it. It says, "This is how my condom fits." <laughs> 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 and I was like. Are you guys hiring? Yeah. Like, I don't live here, but are you hiring? I, w- I will come down once yes. a month for I, this I shit. will work here. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, as I was saying, as of last last week when we recorded, we did the oh, watershed. We did and then there was the brandy pic- there was, and pickle juices. There and was picklebacks. And we did oh, all yeah, of that Oh, yeah, that's stuff. when we did the apple and the soda caramel. Yes. Yeah. That stuff's going, by the way. Yeah. yeah so I have to get more. I, I, it's fine. <laughs> it didn't make it through the week. Yeah. It, I, I figured. Um, so, I went home and... Actually, I, I was tired anyway, and I fell asleep on the floor. <laughs> Your guys' message just cracked me up because I was still awake. <laughs> yeah. I was like, yeah, I just slept on the floor I just for like four on. hours. It was like 45 <laughs> minutes, but yeah, I passed out on the floor. I got up, but also when I left here, I text my neighbor. Hey, you want to get some? You want to do some rye tonight? And he's like, yeah, uh, I'll text you later when I'm available. So he texts me about 7.30. I hop on the quad. I grab the bottle of the... The the barrel proof that I I barreled from the, or I bottled from the the Arnold last year because that's what I was telling him about. I take it up to his house on the four wheeler, sit down. He's like, "Well, I, I got this bottle here, and it's Alberta some Alberta Premium. Yeah, it's one hundred and thirty two percent. Oh, so I take one hundred and twenty two or not percent proof proof. I take a one twenty two proof. <laughs> yeah, you're dead. Yeah, yeah I take yeah. a one twenty two proof. His is one thirty two proof. Tur- turns out my blood's flammable. And uh, <laughs> so we're sitting there, we're talking, and we're just we're just drinking. So he goes to pour, like he goes to pour another cup of the or another pour of the of the rye I took. I'm like, go ahead and finish that up off, man. I mean, it's don't don't try to have that. Just take the rest yeah. of it. Whatever, no big deal. I was there for four fucking hours. <laughs> there is a time lapse that I don't remember. I, I remember talking about like me having a severe case of ADHD, moving the neighbor, some other shit, and then I left. Then I was at home. Well, no, I remember, I remember getting on the quad. <laughs> I remember, and I, but I only remember putting the quad in the garage. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't remember leaving his house and how I got on the road or how I didn't. Fucking Carol just... man gets DUI on <laughs> I, well, child's four wheeler. I watched the video of when me coming down. Quad the... too, for those of you that don't know, it's, it's a, a tiny quad. It's a Raptor. It was a Raptor eighty. It's not. It's, it's not. Quad. It's a little. It's. It's a kid's quad. It's a kid's quad. Yeah. yeah. But it, I mean, it can carry my ass around. No, it can carry you. I'm just saying, it's like. It's great for transportation. It's not like one of the big. No, no, no. It's not. A, it's or, not a. Or a, or a Honda 250. I, I went back to watch the video of me coming down the driveway. I came in fucking hot. <laughs> <laughs> That's the stuff you need to share to the bookworm page. Yeah. I, I I'll have to see if I still have the video. I came in fucking hot, and then I like punched in the code for the the garage, and I just pushed it in. I remember. Pushing it in the garage. I don't remember punching in the code. I remember coming in None hot. None of that. I got home. I fucking threw up so many goddamn times. I threw up. Apparently, I threw up in Liz's sink. Ugh. I turned on. Hold on. It gets so much better. I turned, hers. <laughs> I turned on the tub on full blast hot and the shower full blast hot. Separate <laughs> units. Got in the tub. Threw up in the tub. <laughs> threw up in the toilet. Threw up in the shower. I ran the hot water out four fucking times. <laughs> I did not feel right until Saturday. I was about to say, I was like, Damn. Until you're on your way here and you're like, let's go do this again. And Liz let's goes, run it back. Liz wasn't mad. She was just like. She was disappointed. She was disappointed. <laughs> but she's just like, I didn't fucking sleep. Because all you did was throw up all night. And I'm like, yeah, I'm sorry. I don't, what hit you guys so hard? You because said, I went back and drank more. Yeah. <laughs> well, I went home and drank more, but you messaged that you were more drunk than you thought I, you were. I, I, exactly. Well, and it, I, was, I was driving home. For me, it was, you know, I get up at 3 o'clock in the morning on Sundays, and then I do this. And it was this podcast, my wife's birthday, and then the fucking Bills game. So, oh yeah, that was a late game. <laughs> it was it was the Sunday night game. Yeah, and we lost. So, wait, so, so I was last just like, Sunday was your wife's birthday. Yeah, and when she left out of here looking pissed, uh -huh. and you said birthday, and she goes, yeah, that was because it's her birthday. Uh huh. Yeah, you were in trouble, weren't you? Oh, a little bit. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's your fault. It was not. I was I'm like, blaming it was Randy. My fault. I'm blaming Randy. I was like, uh, what did Randy, I do? Randy's a punching bag. Yeah, Randy was just like, I'm you should like probably go. I'm like, yep, <laughs> <laughs> gotta go. Yeah, she, so, came, she came out looking like mad. He's like, and he goes, birthday? She goes, yes. And just got in the car and left without anybody. <laughs> no kid, no Mike. I'm yep. sitting there talking to both of them, totally forgetting you had yep. anything to do. And Mike's like, uh, I was like, yeah, you should go. <laughs> so I just got in the truck and left. <laughs> well, mine, I, I would say it's she, mine. So is, she left for her own birthday without you. Well, it was just at her at her parents' house, which is literally two and a half minutes down the down road. the road. Yeah. <laughs> so like, like her car was still like, you know, yeah. <laughs> it's still warming yeah, up. It was still shaking from the door <laughs> slam when I pulled into the driveway. Yeah, and so my you issue was toasted because... and in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> and then got there and drank a little more, and yeah. then came home, and the bills were doing terrible, and I was just like, I'm just going to bed, and I like watched on my phone in I don't bed because I drove home fine. Yeah. I, I was I did not feel like you two, and then the next day Beth was like. Well, when you came home, like you started getting a little chatty, slurry. Yeah, that's that's what my neighbor speech. said. He goes, "When you left, you were you were a little slurry," and I'm mm. like, "A little, a little. I, I Holy shit!" Those, I said, "I don't remember leaving." I took those home. I felt, <laughs> I felt totally fine. Yeah. I left here because if I didn't, I would have driven. Yeah, but I left here clear as a bell. I remember driving home. I remember what I was oh, yeah. doing. I podcast. remember most of the day. I remember I that. Just, I, 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 just... I remember everything. And I got home and I'm like, <clears throat> well, these were good. So I've got soda caramel and apple and ginger ale. But, and I started doing those. But those are only like 80. Yeah. Yeah, but if you do enough yeah, of them. Yeah, but if you do enough of them. <laughs> but if yeah. you drink. And this one's qu <laughs> quantity over quality. <laughs> you, you drink. <laughs> you drink. Three quarters a bottle of 122 and then another half a bottle of 132. Oh, yeah. Well, that's like yeah, you're going to get fucked up. That's like yeah. that day last year when we did the. I can't the eat moonshine. chili. <sighs> that day I was like, what happened? Yeah. yeah I can't, I can't I get, get chili and right it now. It didn't hit yeah. me. <laughs> it's because you made so much of it all week. <laughs> well, that's what we had for dinner. <laughs> like I said. And it came back. You'll be like, you had I thought it was beanless, but there a... appeared to be beans. No, in there this. were beans in it. There was no meat. You had chili for dinner and a bath bomb. <laughs> yeah, I did. Chili bath bomb. Oh, that's that's the Texas. last time I got this fucked up was when my dad was alive, and Liz literally threw me out the front door because I was getting ready to throw up, and she opened the front door and threw me outside <laughs> in my underwear. I just pictured him flying out the front door like DJ Jazz. And Jeff <laughs> oh yeah, no, that's basically that's pretty close to what it was. <laughs> 
That's pretty pretty <laughs> close to what it was. She chucked my ass outside, and I threw up outside my dad's front porch. Yeah. That's the, I think that's the last time it was this bad. I usually remember things. This it I didn't, didn't hit me shit. like that. I mean, I did. I did go home and have more, but that's I didn't know. <laughs> well, you said you fell asleep on the floor. I was like, oh, that's funny. I didn't know you went on after that. Oh yeah, yeah I woke up. Yeah, and you no, gotta that, find that. You that gotta was find that, that was the rally nap. There, there was there was no puke and rally. It was just rally. <laughs> it was, that was, it was the rally puking. nap. <laughs> well, after that, it was puking. About midnight, that's when the puking started. Anyway, all right, so we're doing strictly beer today because I don't know that I could stomach some fucking whiskey at this point. <laughs> Is Still. that why you want to do a beer me? Episode? Yes, yeah. <laughs> that's why I'm like, let's do a beer me episode, and we'll just do like a, a winter themed beer episode. So, what we have is we've got Great Lakes Brewing Christmas Ale, which used to be a coveted, like you couldn't find it in the store because everybody was going out and buying it up. Yep. And we have Thirsty Dog, 12 Dogs of Christmas Ale. So the unique thing about this is, is I, th- from what I was told, the guy who created the Christmas Ale recipe at Great Lakes, when he left Great Lakes, he took the recipe with him to Thirsty Dog. Ah. So Great Lakes is trying to replicate what he did, and Thirsty Dog now has it. Now, this has been years, years ago. Years Several years ago. Do not open till Christmas. Well, question mark. Good Guess what? That phrase obviously didn't hasn't tasted. By the time Christmas this comes out, fresh honey, cinnamon, yeah. and ginger ale. It'll be close to Christmas. We we yeah. we have three flavor. As as we record this show, we have three Tuesdays worth of shows that I need to edit stuff. That that works out because there's going to be several. Sundays that I'm not going to be able to do coming up. Yeah, I mean, same. It's, yeah. it's yeah, that's why we we're we trying to always do this around yeah. the holidays. That's yeah. why I stopped doing Friday shows Christmas. for now and yeah. to to try to push out. It's in the hopper. To so we had shows that way. If we have to take a weekend, it's fine. So I wanted to when you I said you pulled out the Christmas. And I'm like, oh shit, you know, we need to do a against 12, 12 dogs of Christmas. And, and he's I like, pulled that one. Oh. Out. He's like, all right. I'm like, cool. So we're definitely going to okay. do these. But then we have we may do. One to two more after this. Okay. But we have it on roulette wheel. There's like eight or nine beers, yeah. Christmas beers. And or at least holiday. Holiday-esque. I, like I want a Jewish beer. They make them. We should do like a Hanukkah. Of course they do. I, I yeah. want a Hanukkah beer. I'll, Hanukkah I'll, beer. I'll, of course I'll, they do. I'll track do. it down. I'll track it down. We should just have Dom <sighs> make one. I'll send him a text. We st- I was about to say we still need to we still need to go to double it. Well, I, f- I was figuring like January, February, that would be a good time to do it because they're going to want. I might not have a job at the end of January, so that'd be a good time to. Oh yeah, I uh, mean uh, contracts up into January, so we'll okay. see if we can or not. <laughs> okay. If not, it'll be like well, either the other company hires me or I'm or not working at Dick's Last Resort. <laughs> there you go. Cool. <laughs> I'm moving to Tennessee, which I'd be okay. Tennessee. With. I would be okay with Can't that too. Fucking. I know. Every time. But well, somebody just, you know, furthering themselves and getting the fuck out of this. Further, we are eight. Farthering myself from you. Yeah. <laughs> farthering. Furthering. Farthering. What, furthering. Uh, farthering. Feathering. Feathering. Tarring. Anyway, all right. So we got. So which, which one, one do we want to try first? I, I, I mean, it doesn't matter. I just don't know which is which. The first one I gave you was the uh, Great Lakes. Okay. So Great Lakes. So let's try Great Lakes dog. first. Yeah. They, no, I, should, I say we should try the 12 dog because that's the original recipe, right? Supposedly. So, allegedly. Okay. So let's try that first, I would say. Okay. So, so here's the 12 dog. 12 dog. It smells great. Uh, hold on, I want to. Ooh. Oh, that's a good that's a good point. It's very similar. It's similar. I mean, when it, when it comes to Christmas sales, like, the all... spices are going to be pretty yeah. much the same. Well, yeah, cuz it's Cloves all cloves and nutmeg and cinnamon and, and yeah. And... Okay. It's it's I like pot it. Pottery. I like mm, I like 12 dogs. I'm a big fan of 12 dog stuff anyway. So Pretty, that's that's more hoppy than I thought it would be. It's yeah, it's a beer. Ale brewed with honey and spice. No, but not all beers are super hoppy. They are not. No, for it's sure. It's good. Not. It's not bad. It's just hoppier than I thought it would be. I thought it would be a more sweet, light. No, because it's got Cri- this... Christmas ales tend to be a little bit darker and a little bit maltier, robust, yeah, which bold. is fine yeah. because you. I would want a darker, warmer beer around a campfire. Yeah. at Christmas. I was about to say once we get into winter. Whatever it's going to be this year, we'll do we'll do some stouts. Like, I've got a buddy like, I need to bring on because he's almost every night sending me pictures of different stouts. He's like, "Have you guys tried this?" I'm like, "Never heard of it." He's he's like, "You guys are with beer." 
Well, he's I was doing, I was, we I was doing that. I was that. doing that with Mo earlier this week. Yeah. He was like, he was listening to the episode. He was like, "Tell me more about that coconut." <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Rum barrel age one. Yeah, thanks for like, messaging me, one. Mo. I never get a Mo message. I talk to Mo at least three times a week. I was about to say, so we should have him out again soon. I yeah, look absolutely. At, I look at Mo through his windows three times a week, but that's creepy. I don't talk to him. No, I, from a well, I work for Mo, so <laughs> I also work for Mo. Yeah, yeah. I mean, for the. You work under him? The, the volunteer stuff that I do. <laughs> yes. <laughs> under him. Under his carriage. That's good, though. It's a good beer. I like it. All right. I'm yeah. gonna it's not real heavy, that. not real lofty. Yeah, it's... Get a little palace. I think that's yours from last week. There's an unopened one right there, too. It doesn't matter. I'll drink whatever. There's that, too. My, uh, I got some 99 peaches over there. Yeah. Got 99 peaches and a I've banana ain't one. That. I've never had ninety nine of the anythings. Yes, you, you you've have. had it, but we've had it. We, it was, it was in a mixed. drink. It was in a. It was in a mixed oh, drink. Oh, we did. Okay, it was a bourbon drink that we did. It was that lemon juice bourbon and cucumber water? A, no, that was a, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was the celery water one we the did. Cel- yeah, celery water. That's celery and ginger. All right, so Great Lakes good. smells similar. I mean, it is a Christmas sale, color wise, but it's supposed to be the same recipe from what I was told. It's really close. It's close. It's this is close. Uh, this has a little more muted. It's a little flatter. It's a little flatter, but then it has a little bit more of like a nutmeg. And it's more of a sweetness of a to spice it. to it. Yeah, I would say there's more sweetness and spice, and a little bit less of that. I prefer beer out of glass than a can. Anything aluminum. I don't like aluminum cans or bottles if I can help it. I don't know why, but to me that changes the flavor of things. Oh, it does. So I'd like to try them both out of glass. Well, but you're not going to get 12 dogs out of glass. Well, I figured as much. They used to. It, I, a it used lot to of a breweries thing. are switching over to aluminum. Yeah. It's cheaper. It's cheaper. Yep. Sturdier. Let, lightweight, so shipping costs go down. Yep. Well, and and easy, people yeah. are more likely to recycle aluminum than they are glass. Well, yeah. the thing is, I mean, even the size, mm-hmm. the space. 12 yep. ounces, 12 ounces. Look the, yeah. at it. You know, it's, I, w- I would be fine with grenade bottles. Like red straight bottles. Oh, oh yeah, I've had my I favorite that. bottle to drink. I out love. Of. I love. A that's red why I. St- bottle. That's still why I drink Mickey's. I've <laughs> I, never I had get, Mickey's. Oh my god, Mickey's is so good. Never had. There's it. like it's malt liquor, but there's like a lemony flavor to it. It's so huh. fucking good. I'll have to try it sometime. I just prefer if I'm drinking a beer, I just want it out of a glass bottle, even if it's like Yingling or some run of the mill just common beer. I, I tend to out drink of out of a glass. Yeah. I, t- I will pour it into a glass. Mm-hmm. Well, but if it's been stored in cans, it right. still has that. Even pop. See, I, prefer I don't. Pop out of I glass don't. I think can. that the can technology has come a long way. I it agree. Has. It has. Yeah, it definitely used to be. Anymore, I don't. I don't get it. I don't care one way or another. Yeah. Oh, I mean, bigger I mean, be choosers. If it came in a one gallon milk jug, I'd be fine with it. <laughs> <laughs> Came in one about gallon of milk jug. I'd question some things. I mean, <laughs> it's homemade. I'd be like, what I are did, you guys like, doing? Uh, that goes back to my days of like house parties. Yeah. And it was like, I don't think it was Bartles and James, but there were a couple companies that made wine coolers that came in two liter bottles. Really? Yeah. Boone's Farm. Could be. I remember drinking Wild Irish Rose at a party. There, I'll tell you what. Go. So I went 12 dogs straight to Christmas sale. I like 12 dog better. I like 12 dog better, but there's a significant difference when you go, when, when, when you don't yeah. rinse out your palate. Yep. I agree. There's a I significant just did the same thing between the two. The 12 dog is sweeter. 12 dog is absolutely sweeter, and I think it tastes better. It, yep. It's just got a better flavor to it. Neither one of around. them are bad. No, no, no. God, no. That's, I mean, that's you know, it's, you know, it's, it's. <laughs> It's just one good apple against an, a slight, one slightly less good apple. Yeah. I mean, it's it's one that's been, it's still on the tree, and the other one just kind of got knocked to the ground and bruised a bit. I will agree with s- both of you. stepped on. Yeah, I like There's them a both. a line from one of my favorite movies. Oh, brother, where art thou? All right. I'm with you, fellas. <laughs> Do not seek the treasure. Do not seek the treasure. I thought you was a horny toad. Yeah, I like 12 Dogs better. So much better. So my son recently asked me what my favorite movie was as a kid, and I had to think about it because there's so many good ones. And, uh, you know, I went through Mighty Ducks, and I went through Heavyweights, and I settled on probably my favorite movie as a kid was Sandlot. Sandlot's a great movie. Oh, yeah. I still watch it today. I was a baseball player all my life. It's it, Yeah, it's one I watch right now. 
I would not have any qualms sitting and watching it all the way through. Yeah. He goes, what's your favorite movie as a adult? I said, easy, Shawshank Redemption. Debbie Does Dallas. And he, <laughs> <laughs> Boogie Nights. <laughs> I said, I, I said, hands down, my favorite movie of all time, Shawshank Redemption. He goes, what's that about? I was like, I'll show you when you get older. <laughs> great story, great movie. Yeah. yeah it, it, Friday. Yeah. Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Another classic. Not as good as Shawshank, in my opinion, but I mean, no. it is a good movie. But it's still a good movie. Yeah. But all these, like, I watch a lot of Tubi because it's free. They're streaming, it's free. You get a couple commercials. But uh, Shawshank, Friday, Friday After Next is on there. Friday After Next wasn't good. No. Um, I agree. No, I, I agree that, with you. That's on that. one of those ones where it's like, Friday, we can capitalize Friday, on this and no, you yeah, cannot. Friday, Friday's the one that you just stop at Friday, I think. Yeah, you don't need the Friday After Next. But, uh, uh uh-oh. Oh, we mixed them. Getting crazy again. Hope it's not your wife's birthday again. (laughs) We should have done this last week. I liked it. Okay. Let me try and even them up. Nope. I'm just dumping them in. Well, Mike did, so I'm trying to do what he did. I like Mike better than you. And I'm totally fine with that. I know. When you move into Tennessee? As soon as I can, <laughs> believe me. I, I'm gonna move to it's not bad. It it actually smooths. It it not. It takes the, it on. takes the best of both worlds. It balances it. Yeah, it it absolutely That's the does. Pretentious way of saying smooth. Now when you're drinking whiskey, yeah. it's balanced. I liked it. I, I, I like them both mixed. I I if honestly, if you gave them two mixed, I would never guess that was two beers mixed. Yeah, I would like to see Twelve Dogs do their Christmas ale in a bourbon barrel. Oh yeah. Ooh. I that bet you be good. or a rum barrel. I'd like a rum barrel too. I'd like a bourbon and a rum barrel to compare them. Yeah, I could do that because I like I like the sometimes I like the the tinge of sweetness you get out of a rum barrel that you don't always get out of a bourbon barrel. I yeah yeah. So the one my buddy showed the other day was a coffee vanilla something stout aged in bourbon. Twelve barrels. dogs of Christmas barrel aged. Yeah, what? we need we need that ten point four percent. What is what this one's what order that I'll pitch in on it. Uh, this one is. This one It's like five three? No, this one was I think eight two. Eight two? Oh the eight point uh, three. Uh, the eight, okay, the, the five threes are the other the Yeah, I'll have to track it down. I'll see if I can track it down. I'll talk to Jay. Yeah, for sure. I need to go down there anyway and enter the comp enter, enter the uh contest for the Sam Adams Utopia. Utopia? Oh, that would be a fun one to do. Utopia is a bottle of beer that looks like okay. it looks okay. like a pot still bottle from um that fucking distillery i can't stand will it yes yeah it looks like, like the bottles like that it's like a hundred or two hundred dollars for the bottle Ooh. but it's also it like the same proof it's also like fucking 40 percent oh it yeah is no, ridiculous. It, it, it's not carbonated it's a not it's a yeah. non-carbonated beer where do we get that and how much is it i just told you Oh, you it's said about, the bottle was. <laughs> I was like, is it more with beer in it? Yes. This, <laughs> no, it's the, it's So Sam I Adam's can buy Utopia. one online right now. The same Adam's for Utopia? Four hundred and eighty nine dollars. No. Go ahead. It's buy a, <laughs> buy no. this so we can try it. It's like a it's like a hundred and fifty or two hundred dollars to buy the bottle. Yeah. This is this is what the bottle looks like. Buy it. You've got more than that in this yeah. place. Yeah. That's you got more than five hundred bucks in bottles in this place right now. You got more than five hundred bucks on that one shelf. I spent fucking ninety dollars on that on <laughs> potting soil last week. But he does he doesn't well, have that, a four hundred dollar bottle of beer. No, I've only got a hundred dollar bottle of beer. Yeah. The on most the I have is forty. Hundred dollar bottle of beer. You take one down, pass, pass it, around. it around. We drink all your hundred dollar bottle of beer on the wall. So yeah, I wanna I wanna enter I'm gonna so enter the contest I, and I, if I win, I'll, I'll put, it's for the show. I was about to say I'll I'll I'll, I'll pitch in. I'll pitch in for that. I'll okay. give you five bucks. I'll enter also. Yeah, if you win, I'll I mean we'll we'll split that. I'll enter so, too if you send me a link. I'm not gonna go look for it. There's no link, you have to go to the store. You have to go to the store. Which store? Uh Maristop <laughs> on Fair. Oh, okay. Downtown. Just, like I'm going, yeah. I'm going on my way home from here, so I can go enter. That's I'm off the next the couple way. of days, so I'll probably do it in the yeah. next couple of days. Yeah, enter me in there too. Sure. Yeah, it's you just literally just write your name on a slip of paper oh, and drop it in and a phone number. Yeah. Yeah. So enter me. I'll I'll, I'll pitch it on that. But I want to because I've been trying to win it for like the past seven years or five years, whatever he's been doing it for. Because he finally got on the list. So because I talked to Jay about it one day, and he's like, "We don't we." He goes, that's limited. He goes, and if I ever get it, he's like, it's raffle. Yeah. He got it the next year. He's yeah. like, 
we're raffling it. And I'm like, no, cool. Do yeah, it this way. 100%. Yeah. You know, if I if I win, I'll I'll buy it. But he only gets one. Yeah. That's crazy. It's it's like severe allocation. Well, apparently. If you only get if you can only get one, period. I mean he's but Black Friday's coming up too, so there'll be more Goose Islands to buy. But I think this year I think I decided unless I can get what, well, what are they doing this year? They're doing some different stuff this year. Um, yeah. Because uh, I wanted a Blanton's bottle only because I wanted the little horsey top for it. Oh, I keep forgetting to check the letters I have. You gotta and, remind me. What letter is it you need? I don't know. You got to remind me because if I have it, I'll just give it to you. I don't care. I mean, I, I got to check. I know. I think I need a T, but. I was going to say, there's only one you need to complete it, right? No, 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 no. There's there's a couple. Oh, I thought you just needed I don't have. I don't think I have a B. I'd have to check. I think I have it on my phone. I have, we'll have to check after we're done recording. If you were, yeah, whenever I'm home, if you message me like, "Hey, I need this letter," I'll check because I keep all my corks. Like, oh, I keep I keep all of my corks that I from every bottle that I've ever had of whiskey. Same. All right, I've the, got a drawer full of them. Yeah, <laughs> the 2023 Goose Island. Yeah, uh, this this by the time this airs, the Black it'll Friday, be out. Yeah, Black Friday will be done and. But what what are they doing? So because I thought there was one that was going to be uh, there's always one that's hard to get, and the Blanton's one was one. This that thing will not stay lit. So I there's ha- the, the original stout. Then there's the Eagle Rare Two Year Reserve Stout. That one I I think I, that's one I I would probably pay. An Angel's Envy Two Year Cask Finish Stout. I have no Wait, no uh, interest in that. H- how much would that be though? I would at the right like, price. Eighteen bucks. Eight. Not, well, twenty five bucks. Is, Eighteen to twenty five is yeah, typically the yeah. price. I like Angel's Envy Rye still. I so still it's do. it's I'm, the I'm well, it's not rye. That was bottle. cast strength. Oh, yeah, okay. the Bourbon County First Cask Finish Stout spent a year in former former Angel's Envy bourbon barrels, and then another year aging in Ruby Port barrels. And then mm. there's a Bourbon County brand Bananas Foster Stout. Mm, I don't know about that. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not into I'm, unless, I'm unless, intrigued. Unless they put that in an old Forester barrel, I, I wouldn't be. So that I'm is yeah, that's, that's like a chocolatey banana flavor. Ripe bananas, intrigued. toasted almond, brown sugar, and cinnamon. I'm in brown sugar, cinnamon, banana. Mm. I'm in because it's probably artificial banana, and I don't Bur- like artificial banana. Bourbon County oh, brand Backyard Stout. So that is aged in bourbon barrels and rye barrels, and then finished with mulberries, boysenberries, and marion We are recording, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the little red lights on. I'm, I, the, I double checked. Okay. I keep okay, looking at it. I don't know why Chicago. it just hit me out of nowhere. I was like, it's, it, it feels like one of those days where we're having a good time. And oh no, we're recording here. We're recording there. I can see the record on yeah, the I, camera. The little red ring around okay. the on the screen. Yeah, we're around the posy. I got I got multiple cameras right now trying to. Yesterday, Judd was singing. We 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 or Friday we went to mom and dad's for a bonfire. Beautiful night for a bonfire out in the yeah it tree was. and clear skies out in the you know you can see the stars and we started driving home. And he goes ring around the rosy pair of pocket po- or pair of chocolate posies. It's like sure, why not? All, all right. right, I it's mean, like, if you're gonna have posies, it might as well be made of chocolate. The song sure. is the, the song's about death anyway. But yeah, it's about the plague, yeah. allegedly. Well, allegedly. <laughs> All right. Do we want to spin to see what we're going to drink next? Yeah. So let's spin. So, so well, we have, well, 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 before we do that, beer. hold on. Before we do that, Randy's still got to finish his. Um, what? Let's just rate. 12 dog, four. Yeah, I'm, I'm, easily, I'm easily out of four. On, it's on it's the easy to find. It's fantastic. It's, it's easy to find. What's the price on them? Uh, I want to say I think like, you get like a six pack for six packs, like fourteen or fifteen bucks. No, that's not yeah, bad. no, yeah. it's not terrible. No, and I I want to say that the Christmas sale is like twelve, thirteen, yeah, fourteen. It's about bucks. the same. Okay, so we're we're the same price, same availability. Yeah, it, you yeah. can find it pretty much anywhere. Yeah, great. So Great Lakes made a huge mistake Maybe with not with like Japan or Russia, but well, we're yeah, not, yeah. I'm not worried about it, them. <laughs> but Great Lakes made a big mistake with the Christmas with Christmas sale. They tried to, in my opinion. They had a good thing going where it was it was hard to get there for <coughs> quite a few years. Yeah. It was real hard to get. Like people would get cases and they had to start allocating like one case per person. Because you could buy it in a six pack or a case. And it was or no, it was only six packs. I take it back. So you could only buy two six packs per person. That's what it was. And so they started overproducing it. 
Gotcha. And all of a sudden, and then the guy you left. could find it in fucking February. Yeah, <laughs> and then it was like, oh, February. There's nothing here. better They're than all... a Christmas ale in February. Crack open a dusty Christmas ale that's <laughs> been sitting on the shelves. Yeah, and it was. It, and then, like I said, the guy left, and he went to Thirsty Dog, and he took the, and things kind of changed. Yeah, honestly, I would give them both. Then, with all that info, I'd give them both a three and a half. They're very solid. I think they're good buys. They're not my favorite beers. But they're not bad at all. I have nothing negative no, to say about either they're, one. They're very similar but different. Yeah. I, I I would say you know what I'm gonna say three and a half on the Great Lakes, four on the on the twelve dogs. Yeah, I will that's say where twelve I'm at, dogs yeah. is yeah. better. Yeah. yeah I, I, the, I'll, I'll admit that. The Great Lakes gets a three and a half. Like it's not as good as it's not bad. It's not as good no. as the Thirsty Dog. But if you go if you go looking for twelve dogs of Christmas from Thirsty Dog and you can't find it, but Great Lakes is there, get the Great that's Lakes. Fine. Get the Great yeah. Lakes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you're not gonna be disappointed. And now we have to keep our eye open for the bourbon barrel or the barrel aged. Yeah, I, well, when I leave here, if I, I highly doubt that Jay's going to be at the store. Probably not when I when I get down there after this. But if he's there, or even if Mary's there, I'll say something to Mary. Mary's the, his, do you know what the last? I saw the last update. I don't think that was on there. I don't know. Yeah, Mary's his right hand person. <laughs> right hand woman. Lady. So Wo- the, woman. Christmas beers that are in now. Wolfridge has Santa was here. Chocolate chip cookie dough stout. Ooh. That sounds good. Uh, Home for the Holidays Ale, uh, Fathead, Pimp My Sleigh. I actually wanted to talk to him about the way he does his emails anyway at some point to help him make it a little more legible. (laughs) There are free services out there you can use for emails. That's weird that you say that. (laughs) Well, if you look at the way he sends his emails, it's like... Bam, 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 bam. There's no returns between the beers, oh, so yeah. you have to, like, you literally have to read everything, and he'll break the line. He, he doesn't even break the line. Like, it just reads across, and then you get to the next one. I think he puts a dash or a star to try to, gotcha. a note, yep. you know, but it's, but he does, every week he does uh, the beer list that came in for the week. Yep. Of the. Which is amazing. Yeah. Like there's not there there are places that don't do things like that. No, and I I love that he does it. My only critique is I wish he did it slightly more legible. Yeah, trying to filter through it. Like I'll take the the email and put it into like a text document and then separate things out so I can read them if I'm interested in if I'm looking for something. So I found the post from the my buddy I was talking about that we need to have on the show. It's a fifty percent imperial mm. stout, fifty percent barley wine blend. It's in 12-year Elijah Craig bourbon barrels with coffee and maple syrup. That sounds like Evil Twin. 14% yeah. alcohol by volume. It is, uh, let's see, Imperial Style with vanilla, tugboat coffee, and Michigan maple syrup aged in maple syrup bourbon barrels. Does it say who 14%? Makes it? Uh, no, it doesn't. He didn't show the actual label that time. Oh, Evil Twin. I love Evil Twin stuff. But I miss I, – I don't know if I have any more left or not. I, if I do, I'll bring one over and we'll do it. They've got 16 percenters. Um, shit, Big Ass Money Stout was one of my favorites. It had pizza dollar si- and dollar signs on the yeah, label. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you're talking yep. about. They had a imperial, um, an imperial IPA, which was just a black label. And then they had one that was – Oh, it was it was like biscotti something. It was just like it was. I can't, but I can't remember the name of that one. And that, they they were all sixteen or eighteen percent beers. They were fucking fantastic. And I would easily yeah, spend. Yeah, this is all. That's all the beer he drinks. Like that's all I used to drink. He'll sit down and, and have drinking more a glass whiskey. or two of those a night. I never hear of him drinking like a Miller Lite or a oh no, because or... once you get to a certain, I, I will say that once you get to a certain point in craft beer, a Miller Lite, a Yingling, you can't. Really drink those, and they're fine. They're fine. You they're, can. They're they're, just, it's more of like a. I've been mowing in the hot sun all day, and it's refreshing and crisp. Right, but it's not a. It's not a sit down and enjoy. Yeah, yeah. It's more of a ritual kind of thing. I'm trying to figure out. There was one that was just offered that I tried so hard. I am. I keep get. I get one, one or this two. I need to stay lit. Last week I didn't have that issue with it. it see, it's ago. not me. It's. It's them. In them. I mean, you I You have the issue with every cigar. <laughs> Almost. This one is <laughs> staying lit. I I'm, I'm I'm not knocking the the ash off of it as much. I'm trying not to. Did so, you try right. tapping that ash? I I did tap that ash and I had to relight it. <laughs> all right. So, what we have, we have the Masthead uh Holiday IPA which is brewed with spruce tips. Okay. We have the Samuel Smith that, that's Winter Ale. Pine. 
Yeah. Uh, we have the Sierra Nevada Celebration Ale, which is my favorite Christmas style yep. beer, which is a fresh hop beer. And Sierra Nevada does a very good job on everything. Sierra Nevada. Yeah. Nevada. Uh, <laughs> we have Pimp My Sleigh from Fathead. Uh, That's a great name. Shiner Box Christmas Ale, which is brewed with peaches and pecans. Ooh. And randomly, Sam Adams Cherry Wheat, which I think is just a peaches tasty fucking beer. Yeah. So was, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we do this, uh huh. Yeah. where are we at? Because we can knock out another 40 episode. Minutes. Yeah, let's end this one. Oh, let's do a roulette episode. Oh. You want to do it? Okay. Make we'll roulette's own episode. Sure. All right, we can do that. Uh, so, hey, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. It's the Google Tweet Scram. Leave a comment, like, share, like... We, you know what? Especially you know what? on no. YouTube. It's, not, it's share, because... Like, share. Share is the important thing. It's like, randomly, I've been doing this for almost a year now. Yeah. Well, a little, little more than that, I think. And I mentioned... I don't realize that I don't mention that I do this to people, and they're like, "You do a podcast?" I'm like, "Well, it's not my podcast. It's friends." No, it well, is. no, it is. Yeah. It, it, this, it, yeah, and so it is your like, podcast. You are the third yeah. member. Of I mean, it's so I mean, it's my podcast. Yeah. but yes, yes, it is your podcast. And I was like, "Yeah." That's they're like, "Who? Oh, what are you talking sure. about?" And I'm like, "Nothing." That's one thing where I'm like, "What do you sure do?" In check. Like, yeah. This is my podcast. I have the recording gear, and I'm like, I can get twenty dollars set up from Amazon. And by the way, you said it won't work with the recorder. I can upload from my phone. <laughs> you could, but I'm it wouldn't like, be no, as, it wouldn't be a good. We don't yeah. need you, Martel. I'm fine with that. I can but, I can go take, do my own show. And I only say that because he always tells me I don't need you. But I, we don't None need of you. Us need any of us. <laughs> Nobody needs well my wife and kids, but <laughs> they don't need you either. Uh, Beth Beth is a stay at home mom. They need me right now until she, she gets couldn't a job. be. <laughs> Until she gets a job, I don't want to play anymore. Nah, nah, why don't you get a job? Right. Yeah, so like, share, subscribe for sure. Sharing, share, share, share is the biggest thing, and commenting. Yeah. like just share, comment. Is caring. Yeah, it, like it, we well, don't on, do the, on on iTunes, Facebook, on Facebook, on Spotify. Podbean, Spotify. You can leave comments. Mo, Corey, I'm not, Tommy, no, Jason. I'm, who the fuck's Tommy? I don't know. Timmy, Susan. Right. Anyway, check us out. We're, we're done. We're out. I'm Martel for Molart, Mike, and Randy. We're done.